Okay, seasons. The main cause of our seasons is the tilt of the Earth's axis, also known as its obliquity. The north-south axis of the Earth is tilted with respect to the vertical plane by an angle of 23 and a half degrees. We've actually talked about this before because when we talked about the, celest the ecliptic, the celestial uh, sphere and the ecliptic, we mentioned that the sun goes up 23 and a half, comes down 23 and a half. And I even showed you this picture, I think, back then. You see here? So we say the Earth's axis is tilted from the vertical plane by 23 and a half. When does it most face the sun? June 21, you see? September, it runs parallel to the sun. December, points away from the sun. Okay, here's the data for the other planets. So Mercury's tilt is zero degrees. So Mercury goes around the sun like this. So if we were living on Mercury, and I were to give you the celestial sphere map, and this was the celestial equator, how would I draw the ecliptic if, if we did the map from Mercury? Remember, ecliptic was the line that went like this, then went down, then went back up. If you were on Mercury, ecliptic, straight line. That means the sun always rises right above the Mercury's equator. And it goes over, then comes down, goes over. So it's always in the same spot in the sky. It never comes more north, it never comes more south, you see. So will Mercury have seasons? No. Well, you can kind of say it this way. Mercury will have only one season. The season on Mercury will be similar to our fall or our spring. It will not have a summer or winter, okay? It will just have a fall. Venus is tilt 177 degrees. So what does that mean? It's going uh, opposite. Venus looks like this, 177. It means almost one, 180, flipped upside down. So this angle is 177. If it was exactly 180, what would happen? Exactly 180. That means it would be exactly similar to Mercury, except it would be upside down of Mercury. So it would have no seasons. If it's 180, it has no seasons. Uh, but the only difference is that it rotates opposite of Mercury. Okay, so the only thing difference is that it's a little bit tilted, like three degrees off. It's three degrees off from being completely reverse of Mercury. So if I were to say, does Venus have a lot of season, a severe season? No, because it's only a three degree tilt from being vertical. So it doesn't have a severe seasonal variation, very, very minimal season, but it rotates backwards or retrograde to Mercury's orbit, okay? How about Mars's or, uh, tilt? 25 degrees. Notice this is, makes it a good candidate for us to go live there because its seasonal variation will be similar to Earth's seasonal variation. You will have good four seasons, okay? Uh, Uranus is tilt very, very weird. How does Uranus look? Uranus is like this. It's almost 98 looks like what? Uh, up here, so 98 looks a little bit like this. A little bit more than 90. So this is 98. Uh, 
I don't think life would be possible on a planet that has that kind of a tilt. Very, very bad. Because basically, imagine I am a Uranus. You're turning like this, facing the sun for many, many months. The backside of the planet doesn't have the sun at all. So you're kind of turning like this. So if you're living here, see, here it's going to be dark. So many, many, many months and years and years, if you live here, you don't even see the sun. If you live here, you see the sun for many, many, many years. Completely dark, completely bright. And then if you go to the opposite end, now this is dark. This is bright. Okay, so life on a planet like that is impossible. Uh, the reason I also say that it has more, most of the seasons, and it also rotates backwards. Why? Because it's greater than 90. Any tilt greater than 90 means it rotates backwards to the Earth. So from those three planets, which ones rotate backwards, which were greater than 90? It was uh, Venus. Venus, Uranus. Pluto also rotates backwards. It's above 90. 118. So if we we're going to end with this picture. OK, take a look at this here. Mercury's tilt, 0. Venus is tilt, 177. Earth, 23. Mars, 25. Jupiter, 3 degrees. Severe seasons? No. No seasons. Saturn, 26. Close to Mars, close to uh, Earth. Uranus, 97.9. See how it's tilted? Probably what happened was in its early formation, something must have hit Uranus and tilted it. A, a real uh, big uh, planet hit it. And then it tilted the uh, uh, Uranus like that. Neptune, close to Mars and uh, Earth. Okay, pretty close. Pluto, again, another weird thing. It's got a weird tilt of 122, so it's kind of similar to uh, Uranus. Okay, so we'll continue from there. Monday. Now it says here most people would say that uh, seasons are due to Earth's distance from the Sun. So I want you guys to try this question out uh, on your friends and relatives or whatever. I really like, uh, this is one of my favorite questions that I usually like popping up in a conversation. You might be sitting somewhere eating dinner or whatever and you'll say, hey guys, what do you think is the reason that we have seasons? Why are there summer, winter, uh, uh, spring and fall? And listen to what kinds of responses you would get. So that would be a nice question to pop up. You'll be surprised the kinds of responses that I've gotten, a lot of different kinds of things. One of the typical ones that they might say is, uh, they'll say, oh, Earth's uh, orbit around the sun is a little elliptical. So those, are those people who are a little bit more informed about astronomy might know that Earth's orbit around the sun is elliptical. And so they'll say, sometimes the Earth is close to the sun. Sometimes the Earth is far from the sun. And so when Earth is close to the sun, we have summer. And when we have Earth is far from the sun, we have winter. And then the guy thinks, oh, cool. You know, I'm smart. I answered a really good question. He was wrong. <laughs> OK, whoever says that is wrong. So it turns out <clears throat> Earth is closest to the sun, which is known as its perihelion. The Earth is at its perihelion about January 3rd. Isn't that opposite to what you would think? Anyone who's going to argue that uh, that's the reason for seasons is going to be really surprised. So tell that person, yeah, you are uh, correct that sometimes Earth is uh, close to the sun, sometimes it's far. But it's closest to the sun on January 3rd. And of course, the person's going to be shocked, like, what? Their worldview will be completely uh, upside down. And then the, the Earth is farthest from the sun known as its aphelion. So peri means close, helios, helios means sun. Close to the sun, ap means far from the sun, July 4th. The easy way to remember that is on July 4th, we celebrate Independence Day. We are far from Britain on that day, right? We uh, declared independence. So then our earth is far from the sun. So uh, we are declaring independence from the sun. So on July 4th, when you're doing your cookout, your barbecue, and you're celebrating the fireworks, look up at the sun and say, 
That's the smallest that the sun appears in the sky during the whole year. It's far from the, uh, the, the sun is uh, far from us. That's when earth is farthest. Uh, the person who's, uh, told, who just told you that that's the reason for seasons is going to be really shocked. What? Can I say? If the earth is far from the sun in July, then how come it's hot? How come it's summer? Then that gives you reason to explain the next three slides <laughs> that we're about to discuss. Why do we have seasons then? What's the reason for seasons? So here's the start of the four major seasons. We talked about this before when we mentioned about the celestial sphere. We mentioned the ecliptic, and we said uh, on June 21st, the sun, the earth points directly to the sun. The summer solstice, the earth's north axis points towards the sun. Winter solstice, the earth's north axis points away from the sun. <coughs> of course, you have to remember that when we're calling June 21st summer, we're talking from northern hemisphere perspective. If you live in the southern hemisphere, June 21 is the start of your what? Winter. Yeah, so completely opposite. So all these things that I'm saying is people who live in the northern hemisphere, okay? December, winter, vernal or spring equinox, March 21. That means it's pointing parallel, okay? So if this is the Earth, See how it's tilted? Imagine the uh, projector is the sun. It's tilted towards the sun. This is June. This would be p tilted this way compared to the sun. That would be like uh, March 21 or September 21. And then this way, pointing away, is December 21. Okay? So... <coughs> So all we did so far, we haven't really answered any questions. We just gave some dates. And now here, if the person asks you, why does the tilt cause seasons? There are some uh, sub-reasons for seasons. <coughs> okay, so here you have to go a little bit in depth into the meaning of this and why the tilt causes seasons. So 